Hey guys, welcome to reading today. All right, I have not given you a whole lot of assignments for today. You're going to do a little bit of reading and then we're going to do a little bit of math and then you can catch up on anything you might need to do today. But in reading, we are talking about fables. Remember, we talked about a fable yesterday and actually we've been talking about fables all week, haven't we? Yeah, because every story we've looked at so far this week has been a fable. And remember, fables are made-up stories. They have animals or things that act like people. That is personification. And the most important thing about a fable is it teaches a lesson or it has a moral, which is just a lesson. Um, yesterday I read you The Boy Who Cried Wolf. And we talked about the lesson in it. What was the lesson in The Boy Who Cried Wolf? Yeah, don't tell lies. If you tell lies, people won't believe you, even when you tell the truth, because you've lied so much. So yeah, we talked about the, fa or the lesson in The Boy Who Cried Wolf. And then I had you reread Wolf Wolf, and you were supposed to figure out the characters in the setting and the problem and solution and the lesson in Wolf Wolf. And we're going to look at that on Monday. So the paper that you did for me yesterday, we're going to talk about and make sure you had it right on Monday. What did you think the lesson was in Wolf Wolf? Is that what you think? Okay, okay. Well, we're going to talk about it on Monday, okay? But I have one more fable that I want you to hear. And this fable is not going to be one that I'm going to read to you. This fable is a video that they have um, made on YouTube. And it is a bunch of brothers and sisters. And they have made a video where they're acting out Little Red Riding Hood. Do you guys know the story of Little Red Riding Hood? Okay, yeah, some of you do, some of you don't. It's okay if you don't, because you're about to listen to it. And it's okay even if you do, because I think you're really going to enjoy this video that these brothers and sisters have made. Um, it's kind of cute, and it's funny. They make a little bit of mistakes, and they laugh about it. So it's one of my favorite videos. Um, I love watching it every year. My class watches it every year when we learn about fables, and they always love it. So I think you guys are really going to like it, too. Um, it's interesting and, like I said, funny, but it also is the fable of the Little Red Riding Hood. And I want you to think while you're watching this video, because we're going to talk about this on Monday. But while you're watching this video, I just want you to think. Characters, setting, problem, solution, and what's the lesson? I'm not going to ask you to write it down anywhere. There's nothing to write it down on. I just want you to maybe talk about it with your mom and dad or grandma, grandpa, big brother, sister, whoever's there with you right now. After you watch the video, just kind of talk about it with them. See if you can tell them the characters. See if you can tell them the setting. See if you can tell them the problem and the solution and the lesson that they learned. Remember, the lesson is one of the characters have learned a lesson. So see if you can figure those out, and then we'll talk about it on Monday and see if you were right, okay? Okay, so let's get into the video. The video, I'm going to pull it right up on my screen and show it to you, but it might be a little bit hard to hear. In some places, it's hard to hear. So if you can't hear my video very good, I'm putting the link right where you can click on it and go straight to YouTube and watch it yourself if you'd rather. So if my video, you can't hear it, you can exit out of my video and go to their video and watch it, okay? Does that make sense? Okay, so I'm going to pull it up on my screen and we're going to listen to, or we're going to watch Little Red Riding Hood. And like I said, I think you're going to really like it. All right, here it is. Poor Grandma, she's just been so ill lately. I don't know what to do. I'm so busy, can't go see her. Maybe I should send somebody. But who? I know, Little Red Riding Hood. That'd be perfect. She's Grandma's favorite granddaughter. She made her the nice red hood and everything. I think she would love it if Little Red Riding Hood came and saw her. I can send some nice bread and stuff. I have some right here in the oven. Ready to get out. Now where is Little Red Riding Hood? Little Red Riding Hood! Little Red Riding Hood! Where are you? Hmm. I don't know, maybe she's outside. Little Red Riding Hood! I am somebody calling me. Little Red Riding Hood! Mama! I'm coming! 
Okay, Little Red Riding Hood, do you want to go to see Grandma? Yes. Do you know where she lives? Yes. You do? Where does she live? To, in the forest to live in the cottage. Yep, that's right. But Grandma's not feeling very good. She's feeling sick. So I want you to bring her this nice bread and jam that I made. Okay, can you do that? Yes. But while you're in the woods, you have to be really careful. You have to stay on the path. You know the path, don't you? Yes. The path that we always go on? Yeah? Uh-huh. Okay. Well, I want you to stay on the path and don't talk to any strangers, okay? Okay. Good girl. Okay. Are you ready to go? Oh. Okay. Little girl, what's your name? Well, Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood? And where are you going, Little Red Riding Hood? Huh? To Grandma's house. Why you go to Grandma's house? Because. And where does she live, this Grandma? Hmm? Um, in the cottage to the woods. In the cottage? Uh -huh. I know where the cottage is. I tell you what, you're going the long way. Would you like to go the shorter way? Okay, well if you go around these trees, that is the quicker way and you'll get there sooner. Okay? Okay. Okay. Safe journey. Off you go now. Yes! Yes, my plan worked. Little Red Riding Hood will go the long way to Grandma's house. And I will go the short way and gobble her up in one gulp. And when Little Red Riding Hood comes to find her, I will gobble her up too! <laughs> ah, I made it to Grandma's house! My belly is rumbling, I can't wait for my favorite meal of Grandma's! <laughs> What a lovely, quaint little cottage this is. Look at the green foliage around the outside. It really is a nice little place. Grandma, it's Little Red Riding Hood. I put you some bread. Is it okay if I come in and share it with you? Grandma, I'm in the are you? I'm in the bedroom. Just go down the hall.
My name is Peter and I was a tree and I'm seven years old. I'm Legacy and I was the mom and a tree and I'm 12 years old. My name is Libby and I was a tree and I help behind the scenes and I am 14 years old. <laughs> My name is Joseph, I was a woodsman and a tree and I am 10 years old. My name is Lorenzo, and I played the grandma and the tree, and I am eight years old. Say, my name is Zion. Uh, okay, don't tell me, okay? Okay. Um, my name is Zion, and I'm 12. Um, I'm four years old, and, and I was... Hi, my name is John Vickery and I was the Big Bad Wolf and I'm 33 years old. Alright guys, and that's the end of the video. How did you like it? Me too. I really think it's funny. It's one of my favorite videos. But remember, if you want to re-watch it as many times as you want, you can. Little you can Red Riding Hood. Oops. I can stop that. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay, if you want to go back and watch it as many times as you want to, remember you can click on the link that says Video of Little Red Riding Hood, and you can watch it as many times as you want. But remember, for Monday, you've got to be ready with character setting, problem solution, and what you think the lesson or the, or the moral was, okay? Okay. Bye, guys. I'll see you later.